Izard County is a tiny administrative unit of the state of Arkansas in the United States. The county with a population of approximately 13,577 people headed for the county elections this month. Right in the heart of this electoral battle was a pitted woman originally hailing from Zinebono district of Nagaland in India's northeast region, Esther Achumi Dennis. Esther Achumi Dennis of the Republican Party ran for election to the Izzard County, a county justice of peace district fifth seat in Arkansas. Dennis was on the ballot in the Republican primary on March 5th this month. The regional news media was aflush with curiosity when news broke earlier about an ugly origin woman contesting in a representative e election in the United States of America. Naturally, the idea was surprising. Someone placed far from her native demographic could find the space for a political representation approximately 13 1,187 kilometers away in a foreign country. It was a fantastic detail that couldn't be missed. Hornbill TV got the opportunity to speak to Dennis, who is based in Arkansas. The master's degree holder in social work has worked in health advocacy, among others, including accounting and planning corporate services. It's American politics uh, that she looks forward to now. In this Hornbill TV special, she'll be talking, talking to us and taking us deeper into a story from growing up in Naglin to finding herself toward working for the dreams of Arkansas State in the United States and what she looks forward to. Hello, Esther. Thank you for talking to us despite your heavy schedule. How are you and what's up in Arkansas do you have for us? I'm doing good and I live in the countryside in Arkansas and I've been just busy taking care of my family and my business and in between I've just started my campaign a couple of weeks ago visiting different um, party groups and today I, I actually went to the senior center to meet them and just keeping myself busy. Right, we had been reading bits and pieces about you and I think our viewers would love to know more. Will it be too much for us to ask you to tell us something about your roots and your life here in Naglin before you move to the States? Both my parents are Simi Nagas and I was born in Bangalore. Then when my family moved back to Naglin, we were there for a few years. And before, after that we moved back, I mean we moved to Shillong. That's where I grew up and until I went for further studies to Mumbai and I also worked in Delhi before I moved here to the US. But I still have my family and friends in Naglen and we visit them as often as we can. So what led you to the United States or how did you find yourself there after living here in Naglen and then Bangalore and then Shillong? I met my late husband here in the U.S. Uh, and I and we got married and I landed up here in the U.S. What were the fundamental experiences that informed the idols for you to pursue goals that will decide the future of your community there in Arkansas? The fundamental programs are disabilities program, drugs prevention and education program, veterans assistance programs, and those are, some of, uh, those are some of the fundamental experiences that I have, including budget management, that I feel the need to bring as a conservative voice for my constituents. The American political system is fascinating for many of us, and it is very confusing. How does the county electoral process and justice of peace politics in the states there work? How does it work? It's a democratic process and it's a county election for the justice of the peace as it is the same for the President of the United States of America. Right. How different is American politics different from, say, the politics that we have here in Naglen or Indian politics in terms of how people view elections there? In America, people view election as the voice. 
and the candidates, if elected, are accountable to the people as much as possible. Um, I'm not very familiar with the politics in Nagaland or in India because I've been out of touch with Indian politics for quite a while. Right. Say you are elected to the county, what do you become and what will be your responsibilities? If elected as Justice of the Peace for Izzet County here in Arkansas, one of the main responsibility is to assist and help the county judge to balance the budget appropriately for the county. For example, setting pay rates for the county employees as well as um, helping in handling uh, tax rates for the county. And those are some of the few and main issues that I will be responsible for. We wish you all the very best in all your endeavors, Esther. Maybe one day when you make it big and you travel back to Nagaland or India, we'll treat you to park. A question I always wanted to ask, are there any other Naga origin people there in Arkansas? And do you get Naga style pork there? Yes, we do have um, several um, Naga families. That is within 20 minutes from my house. And we definitely have uh, Naga style pork. We, we can actually smoke pork out in the, on the farm. We also can get some smoke jowl um, at the local grocery store. So we do have some ahone with smoked pork and we do enjoy that every so often. Thank you for having me on your show. And I would like to request you all to please pray for me because I believe that God has put me in this position for such a time as this. Thank you. God bless all of you and God bless the United States of America. There was Esther Achumi Denise of Arkansas. She was born in Bangalore and she lived in Nagaland during her preteen years. That's what she told me. She then moved to Shillong in Meghalaya, studied in Mumbai and worked in Delhi before moving to the United States. Let's all wish her the very best. Thank you for watching Hornbill TV. I'm Alan Lee. See you next time.